Hello, hello. So, what are you here to tell me today? Okay. It's um, a happy subject. I'm going to be very honest with myself. Great. I love honesty. It's the best thing ever. Since sliced bread, when they invented honesty, did you know that honesty didn't exist in uh, 1200? Um, are you talking out of your head? Yes. Okay, well, let me tell you what I want to share. Share or work with? Okay. Shall I be a psychotherapist today then? Okay. You've got a smile for that. Well, yes, it's important smiling, isn't it? Very important. Smiling to life. Okay, okay. Okay, I can't speak to anyone about this, right? And if I speak about it, I, I may feel I'm not being entirely heard. Okay. I will listen. Okay. I wish I was more comfortable, but since I'm not, we've got to make do. It's not a very comfortable subject, is it? No, it's not. Well, tell me more. I mean, it's really hard to talk about it, right? Because it is about my wants in life. Oh, what, your, you mean your goals? Yes. Mm. Okay. I see myself radiant. Okay, that's my big goal. But... I think radiance in the normal term for human beings means normally you've met someone that you sort of do mammal things with. Oh, what, what, what do you mean? Well, you know, mammals, they reproduce, don't they? All right. Ah. And radiance-wise, I cannot imagine myself with another human being ever again. You mean it when you say ever again? Yes, I mean it. Oh, that's sad waste for you, isn't it? Well, yes and no. I mean, some people never have relationships and they may die with having had very little to do with other humans in a mammal way. Hmm. So, radiance, I'm struggling with it because I know, and she said to show me, that there is a problem mentally in that area, right? Oh, I see. Let me adjust your coat. There it is. That's better. And me yours, and me yours. That's it. That's better. Oh, dear. Are we being intimate? That was really difficult, actually. Oh, my God. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? I hate it. Come on. I'll, I'll try. Can I... Give you a hug and we can see. <laughs> I I don't like it. What is it you don't like? Come on. I hate it. I hate that contact. Is it because you don't believe you're worthy of love? <sighs> My heart suffers for not loving itself, or me loving it. But 
when you do this, come on, let's try it. I hate it, but let's do it. Okay, uh, heads, that's it, heads safely. Sorry, down there. I can't get it quite right, can I? Okay. So, tell me, how did that feel? Well, I don't know. I was too concerned about the way I looked on camera to think. Okay, let's do it again properly. Oh my God, I hate it. Why, why, why do you hate it? Come on, come on. I'm not going to do anything to you, okay? There's no, nothing I want from you. Just this contact. But it feels incestuous. It feels dirty. And I feel repulsed. I want to run away. Oh my god. Oh, hold on a minute. The psychotherapists, they don't say, oh my god, do they? Well, no. Okay. Can I have your hand? Uh, what do you feel now? Well, I still don't like it. What do you feel about hands? Well, it reminds me when I was a kid and I didn't like holding other people's hands or kiddies my age. I didn't like contact. Ah, very. Okay, can you imagine yourself radiant just for this minute? Okay, I'll do my best. I'll put my better face on. Radiance. Radiance. Yes. How do you feel, Radiant? I feel like somebody else when I'm Radiant. Mm. But as soon as I start thinking about what I think my mental problems are, I go back to this anxiety. Oh. I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay, well, so we've got we've got a trail to be following. You have something with contact. Yes, with other humans. I have no problem with animals. I love the contact of animals. I feel honored when they want to touch me, or if they get close to me. But humans, I feel fear, and I feel just this vague, oh, it's all dirty, we are dirty, I'm dirty, they're dirty, everybody's, it's like this feeling of, I don't know, disgust towards one's body and other people's. Well, even if they are really clean. And they've just had a shower and put new clothes on that don't smell of biological washing powder. I, I can't explain that feeling. It's. I feel lost in myself when I think about it. So, give me your hand again. I'll try again, but I'm, I'll be brave. Maybe I'll carry on opening up. This did not feel too dirty. Great. Excellent. We're getting there. Oh, bless you.
bless me. Oh, bless you. So I'll go back to the story, right? Okay, yesterday I went and did something I don't normally do. Go and see someone who plays gong. And it was St. Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. And I'm so glad to be on my own, I'll tell you that. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I feel blessed. So I don't have to deal with this ongoing things that I've never been able to solve inside of me. Yeah, okay, carry on. Tell me more about what was the gongs like. They were amazing. But at first, I found them really disturbing. I didn't like them. Oh. Yeah, my thoughts were going, going, going. Um, I could not quieten down. And one of them, which... I didn't know later was one I used to know and love. Well, I didn't like it anymore. What's that? Mercury gong. Yeah, yeah, mercury gong. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? And then there was a Venus gong, and then then he told us about what the gong's effect were like. And then he told us relating to the 14th of January. And that one of them was the Sacral Chakras Energy Center. That's the one you have the problem at, isn't it? Yeah. And he stroked it and it sounded awful. I hated it. But then I thought that resonance, my resonance is out of tune. The, the thing over there is resonating out of tune on my out of tune, so obviously I must need it. Oh, I see. Then what did you feel afterwards? Well, strange feelings of like a bit of sexual desire, but not very much. Oh, yeah, because I don't fancy anyone. Like. I think, ugh, no, I don't, I don't want to go there. All right, but this time, well, it was not really aimed at anybody in particular. But, you know what, I felt really strange feeling, well, okay, I'm lying, I'm not going to tell you the truth about that one, because I know what... This one there is going to do with this video, okay? Oh, you're not in love, are you? Oh, fuck no. Look, the problem is, it felt like I was being groomed to feel sexual. And now, all I want is not to be sexual anymore. Because I have had so much of it in my life, and just not there anymore but you said you felt something I know but today it's gone <laughs> and uh, yeah all right hmm this is complex isn't it tell me more okay I've, I, that was pointless telling you about the gongs wasn't it well yes it was because you've not told me everything you have to be pretty honest if you want me to help you. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to say this. Okay, I fancied someone I used to not fancy at all, okay? That's fair. But that was it. And I'm not saying what and who. But not at all, my kind. Not at all, this is terrible. Oh, but what did you mean by fancy, quite? Well, I felt like... I was entering a phase of being sexual again, but maybe only for two minutes. Till I go back to like, gender free sort of person. Mm. Yeah. All right. Um, do you want to talk about like, 
now because it's too personal, particularly if this one puts it up online, I don't want to say too much. Yeah. Well, doesn't regard her, it's about you, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Doesn't matter at all, does it? Yeah. So, go on, tell me, tell us. Ah. Oh. Okay, I find it really, really hard to get excited at all, ever. And you know what I realized during the gong bath? What? That I was, I knew I, I, I was scared of giving birth, right? I've always known that. I've always dreaded the idea of giving birth. But last night I realized I was terrified terrified of getting pregnant what terrified is that why you grew that one there well yeah i think so because there's no room for two is there all right and what else were you afraid of well it wasn't just the, like the pregnancy thing it's the idea of bringing a child into the world that idea horrified me, not just because I worry about the planet and the world and the way humans have always been and still are today, you know? Like, they, all, they don't think for themselves, do they? Um, and when they do, they tell you you're wrong. Anyway, never mind that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, well, that's it, really. Oh, you've lost the track of your sentence, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Because I was too busy thinking about the fear of that pregnancy thing. Like, and I worry about the human race. I really, really do. But I know, like, I'm making efforts and trying to work on myself to to find awareness and, and, and stopping the judgment I feel inside. But not everybody does, and it's those people who worry me, and I think, I don't want to bring a world into that, a child into that world. And also, there's another thing about having a child, is you've got to look after it. Like, like I hardly have time to look after myself. Imagine a child... Right. Yeah, so so I realized I've got real conflict inside. Like, I can't enjoy sexuality because sexuality to me is all about reproducing. And I don't want to reproduce. Oh. What about the pleasure with it? What fucking pleasure? Which one? The one where you bloody can't breathe because you bloody whatever oh you've been with the wrong type mate well sometimes we we think we love and fuck we just don't want to be there really we fool ourselves and I'm so sorry to have done that so do you think you're still upset about your past well, yeah, because my past isn't showing me nothing really works. And and I don't want it to work because I don't want a child. Oh, it's, it's quite complicated, isn't it? Why don't you be a lesbian? Why? Because I'm scared of women. They probably don't like me anyway. Well, how do you know that? Oh, I don't know. You know, I don't find anybody very attractive, like... Nobody makes me, like, feel that funny feeling down there when you really want to stop and be touched and stop. Strange life, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, my dear friend, 
Can I tell you a bit more? Yeah, tell me more. So about the world exploding, that's one of your paradigms, isn't it, and fears? Yeah, the world, the planet, someone putting the, um, the sword in the wrong place in the earth and making it split in half. Oh, it's a sad thought you have all day, isn't it? It's really a sad thought. Yeah. But it's what mental health is made from. It's made from negative thoughts that we repeat to ourselves all day long. And what can we do about those? We can write them down and then do something about them. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just really happy I'm not close to anyone. I'm sorry. Just, it's not right, is it? I should want to be near someone. I should want and crave that special person and stuff. don't. Is there something wrong with me? Hmm. Well, maybe. But at the moment there isn't too much wrong. You're not shouting, you're not crying or wailing, and you're not hysterics in laughter, so I think you're right, really. Okay. I'll keep working on that idea of... Like, what would make me really happy in the radiance regarding the touch and my physical body? Oh, I don't dare imagine what I truly want because I'm not sure I deserve it anyway. Oh no, not that one again. You've worked on worth. You told me it was successful. No, don't go back into bad worth. It's not necessary. You're worthy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I've given up worthiness. It's all fine. Okay, okay, but I just can't get excited. Oh, but go back to your feeling of yesterday with a sort of person that you don't really find attractive, that you suddenly found very attractive. Hmm? What is that about? But I don't want it to go there. I hate it. It's only going to go wrong like it has done every other time in the past. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to say no. No and no. Okay. No. No, no, and no. I want to stop feeling desire. It just brings fucking trouble, right? I don't want it. I hate it. I hate desire. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm losing my hairstyles from your words. My dear, dear. Come on. Oh. You can't say those things. Well, you can, obviously. You've said it. You said them. I don't feel so embarrassed and stuff. Oh, well, that won't help me, you saying that to me, will it? Well, no. Oh my God, we forgot to ring back the woman. Shit, what time is it? Uh-oh. It is two. Not too late. Okay, okay, okay. I'll finish, I'll finish. Okay. Okay, we've got strength. We've got... No! I don't want it to happen. I don't want it. Because I've never, ever, ever, ever met only two people in my life who could offer that vibrancy of the skin. And I'm stuck with a, a remembrance of something I've not lived that I truly want. But you want it, but you said you don't want it. I know I don't want it either. I don't want it. And I, I don't want it. I hate it. Come on, come on. Hating is no good. Hating, I will make a song about it. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. How much do we hate? How much do we hate? We hate, we hate, we hate, we hate, we hate it all. Oh, judgment, we hate, we hate, we hate, we hate. Oh, is that a good song? No, it's not, is it? Okay, okay. What shall we do now? Shall we try and sort out that problem and... Um, look, I'm really not going to post that, it's too personal. Uh. After all 
this work of questions and answers, you're not going to post this? Well, no. Well, you could post it and say it. That none of this is true anyway. You're just talking, talking crap, aren't you? I mean, I'm not. Whether the other one thinks anything of it. Oh, well, she's not there to tell us off. We can just have fun with I love, I love, I love I hate, I hate, I hate I judge, I judge, I judge I accept Ooh. I love, I love, I love I accept myself I hate, I hate, I hate Oh, goodbye, I hate I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, 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 love. Okay, so do you think that there's hope for me one day? No, frankly, I don't want it. Well, hope that you truly, truly want it. Um, yeah. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't want to want it. I really want to keep away from it. So if I don't feel any desire, it suits me fine, but I would like to feel mm, like that. I would like to feel you can't reach, can you, with your hand? Well no, it's difficult. My arm's a bit short, there you are. Yeah, what do you want to feel there? Come on, tell me. What do you want to feel in this place? Do you want to feel belonging? I want to feel creative, apparently it's a seat of the creativity. But, okay. Um, hmm. I don't know, I'm a bit stuck there. I don't, your nose has, has been pushed in there. Where's your nose? Oh, there it is. That's better. Hmm. Well, as a psychotherapist, I still need some practice, don't I? What do you think? Uh, well, I think you've been uh, good today. You've been a good friend. You've heard me. You've not given me too many advice that I didn't ask for. Feeling heard is one of the most beautiful things. <sighs> Thank you for that. I'm pleased that you're pleased. But we're going to have to call back this lady, aren't we? Hmm? Now, if she posts this, I'm going to sue her. What? No, don't do that. Sing her the hate song. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. Goodbye, hate. I love, I love, I love, I love. Is that it? Yeah, that's a song. I love, I love, I love. I accept. The growth of a, my natural person. And evolution in thought and mind. Okay, let's go. Hey, bye bye. That was boring, wasn't it?